All right, all right. What's up? It's Prospector Phil here. How you guys doing? Uh, today we got kind of a fun project. I've scrounged up some junk around my camp. And uh, I'm going to make a fishing bottle cap there. So I got these different bottle caps. And I also happened to find some BBs. So we're going to use those too. And then I got a nail. You find a ton of freaking nails around camp. Got a couple bits of what? Well, one bit of wire, a twisty tie, and uh, a bobby pin. And uh, so we're going to turn these into a bottle cap fishing lure. And, or at least turn one of them in. And there's a couple other things we need. Let's see. We need a treble hook. You can use a regular hook. And eventually you're going to need a swivel. Or it just makes it easier. You don't really need the swivel. But that makes it super easy. I usually put these on the line and then attach it to whatever lure I'm using. So that's really not part of the lure. That's part of your, your fishing rod. Anyway, so... Let's see, what was this one? This one was just plain gold with like some silver foil on it. I'm eliminating, well, that's silver and gray. That one could work. This one, probably not. I don't see many lures, fishing lures with blue on it brown at least for trout doesn't seem to work too well unless you got like feathers or something on there so we got the one with the crusty foil on it or we got this one and this one's a nice gold color i think that'll work good i don't like how it's dented in but we'll use this one we'll try this one first and see how it comes out so set the rest aside <clears throat> derpy derps and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to use the BBs to have kind of a rattle on the inside but first I need two holes and that's why I got the nail I got my hammers so I'm just going to Put a hole in one side, maybe a little bigger, and now it's stuck. It's a big enough hole, and I've got to pull it off of there. Might need the pliers for that one. Whoops, there goes some of my cameras. Bye bye, cameras. Okay, readjust here. Sorry guys, my tripod. I busted my tripod, so it's kind of silly. Silly and janky. Come on, stay. Okay, so we got one hole there. I like to clean that up a little bit. Maybe I'll, I don't know, <laughs> rub it against a rock or something. Whatever. And so I want one hole on one end, and then I want one hole on the opposite end. Try to get them about equal. That worked. So now I need my pliers. Nope. Okay, so now I got my two holes in it. You can see. And since this one, the top's kind of dented in a little bit. I'm just going to take this nail, I'm going to dull it a little bit so it's not quite as sharp a point. And I'm just going to go right in the middle and just put a few dents in there. And I'm not hitting hard. Just enough so that hopefully... By now, 
so that hopefully that gives me a little ridge that'll make it easier to bend. And now that I look at it, there's one more quick thing I'm gonna try. I don't know if this will work. I'm gonna put the pliers right at the end where the hole is, and I'm just gonna bend that part out just a little bit. Should make it easier to bend this sucker in half, which is what I'm gonna do now. So that's looking pretty good. And will my pliers even fit? I don't even, I might have to bang it more with the nail. Basically, I wanna fold this in half. Okay, and now, now it's going. So I'm getting that so it can get folded in half. I could also just put it on its edge and kind of tap on it with the hammer. And that'll bend it as well. Or with a banging rock if you don't have a hammer. Luckily, I got a hammer. So now what I want to do Let's take a couple of those BBs wherever the BBs went. I lost the BBs. Okay, so I think I dumped the BBs on the ground when I dumped the camera. So I can only find two, which is all I need. And I realized before I put the BBs on, I'm gonna I'm gonna put the swivel on. This one will be a lot easier if you already have the swivel on it. So I'll put the swivel on one side like that and close that up if I can I might have to do it with the pliers all right so with the pliers I was able to get that swivel closed and I'm just doing that now because I think this lure is going to be hard to put that swivel on and one more thing before the BBs so I'm gonna try and attach my treble hook because I realize that needs to go on there beforehand too so luckily this bobby pin isn't fairly thick and like I said I, I look for other pieces bits of wire that's all I could find that's not gonna work that's way too thick and the twisty tie I'm afraid that would just come off if I actually catch something so um, or bobby hook, bobby pin, I mean. I'm sorry, whatever it is. So this one looks like it'll fit just about right for my hook. So I'm going to try and make a little loop out of this. Hopefully my pliers will cut it. I'll just bend it open. And take the pliers. And I'm going to try and make a little hook or a little little ring to hold my hook. But since I got this part right here bent out, it's going to have to be a fairly good size ring. So I'll put it through there and let's see. I think if I try and cut it about right there maybe. Well, this is the janky part because my pliers suck. So I'm just gonna move it around and keep trying to nip on that. And then probably have to bend it back and forth a little to actually get that to cut. Okay, I got the one side. This other side, I left a little bit longer. And that's about to go. These bobby pins, I don't like them because it's springy. I think if I just bend it a little bit back and forth maybe maybe not we'll just nip on it a little bit more try it like that there we go that works so now we can turn that into a loop and attach our hook so I think the way that I'll do this is that top part slightly longer so I think I'll take my treble hook if I can find it. Maybe I should change to the other side. The lighting on this side is not very good. 
Let me switch the camera, you can see it better. There we go, sorry about that. This will make the lighting just a little bit better. Except you'll have to deal with my shadow. So I put the treble hook on there. And I'm gonna take this and just loop it around. I hope. Bobby pin is not ideal in the least bit. Make a stupid loop there. Kind of like that. Gotta make sure I keep this on cameras, huh? And then take this one. Well, let's squeeze them together a little bit. Squeeze those two together. Try and bend my loop down a little bit. So I kind of got a little loop going on right here. And I want it to stick out just a little bit past the end there so that when I flip that hook around, it'll be able to dangle freely. So we'll try and finish that part of the hook. I might have to do it backwards. Bend that down a little bit. And hook my thumb. So I'm just basically, I'm doing whatever I can to get that hook to stay on there. Cause this bobby pin is definitely not ideal for what I want to do. I might have to find something else because this is almost too much, too much janky on it. Got a little too much janky. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Let me, let me rethink this. Kind of got it. Again, if you could just find a piece of wire, it'd be so much easier. But what I'm gonna do is take this bobby pin here and just the part where it goes together for the loop, I'm gonna try and put that through this hole and in on the inside. Gonna need the pliers again, cause that's not gonna do it by itself. I'm gonna need a little bit of loving and encouragement to do this one. So I think where they join, if I could get that, this piece right here to go in that hole, and then that would give me a good loop on the bottom. So I'm gonna mess with that for a second, see if I can do that. Oh, I got it started. So if I can just take this, there we go. Kind of like that. Oh, that's a big loop right there. And now I can't get my treble hook where I want it. Can I squeeze it real bit? There we go. Oh, that'll work for just scrounging parts. That'll work, that's exactly what I want. I want a little bit of a loop and I want the hook to be able to do that. And the swivel, this part doesn't matter, that's just the connector, but that's the swivel part right there. So that's all I need. Awesome, we got it. <laughs> like I said, little tiny piece of wire would have worked so much better. And now we can put the BBs in there. And the reason I got BBs, you could use little tiny rocks, but I've been finding BBs. And I found some bigger ones, but I like the smaller ones. And, uh, and it looks like I'm going to look on the ground and see if I can find a third one. Because what I have, like five or six of them. So, let me... Oh, yep, there we go. I dumped the camera. And I lost my BBs. I found the third one. So now I got three BBs in there. And we can just take the pliers and close this up. And those will be the rattle. So that'll make noise. And let's do that right now, huh? Make sure the BBs stay in there. And I think my pliers now, now that I got it squished a little bit, 
should be able to get around it rather than banging on it with a hammer. There we go. That's what I want right there. I got to close it up enough that those BBs can't get out. Oh, that was a little too much. Oh, whatever. That works. Can you hear it? Not very loud, but in the water, that would be pretty good. I don't like how this swivel, this part, that would be a real pain to change that. But there's my fishing lure. And it rattles, and it's got a nice dangly hook. You can put a piece of power bait or something on there and just tie it on your line. So. Yeah, actually that worked out pretty good um, for just a bunch of crap I found on the ground. So that's one way to make a bottle cap spinning fishing lure um, that you can use. I, I think that bobby pin, I'm going to try and bend this little tiny piece right here just a little bit more. You can see it sticking out, so I'm going to try and straighten that just a little bit. But no, it's fish around here they won't break that look at that that's actually pretty freaking cool and it rattles so that'll convince them to strike i could have done a better job closing it up the bb's won't get out though the hook's not coming off the swivel's not coming off so that's it and uh Pretty soon, I'll make a video where we actually test this lure and see if it'll work and if we can catch a fish. So that'll be a video soon to come. That's how you make it. I just found everything except for the swivel and the treble hook. I found laying around my campground. And uh, pretty easy to do. Uh, a lot easier if you're not making a video while you're doing it. And you don't have a million people interrupting you but anyway so like and subscribe new videos coming so soon and uh thumbs up guys love ya i'll see you next time we'll go we'll take that out we'll test it out we'll catch a fish with it how's that sound awesome bye bye